Morning kids, we're in Vegas. I flew in last night, it was fucking snowing, so my shit was delayed. Got it a little bit later than I wanted, but we're here. What is this called? Barbell LV? Barbell 2.0? It's called the garage gym. The man <laughs> garage gym. Uh, Bart is prepping for a meet. Dude, it's getting serious. I'm a joke. My training partners are serious, so he's got a meet in May. We're gonna hit some bench. What are the goals, dude? What are you at now? Eight weeks already. So I'm on week seven of my program. Yeah. So I got nine weeks left. Dude. So next week is halfway point. Yeah. And you're already on. Then shit getting heavy. It's getting heavy. Yeah. This is literally like the, the last. This week and next week is the last moderately heavy. Yeah. Where it's stuff that like. Um, I don't have to have all the proper equipment in. I can get it in running shoes or whatever. Sure. Next week and on. So for example, next week my my uh, squat single is 440. Yeah. And then after that it's like 455. Yeah. So now it's like probably opener ish. Now it's like, like serious mode. You know, it's like 90 percent of my old max and up 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 up. Have you done USAPL ever? I've done one meet. All right. USAPL. So now yeah, we got heels down. Maybe a more heels legitimate down. pause. Uh, Crazy depth. Yeah. Yeah, then it's like no red lights are easy. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. Stiff bar. What Which else I is crazy? I've training stiff bar. Yeah. So I'm very big on comp specificity. Yeah. Only stiff bar. Um, follow my stories. All of my squats, I've been fucking burying them. When you bench hella big, like 385, 395, were your heels up? I don't know. This I think like, they were. This is like 2017. Yeah, me too. Because I think we both benched with our heels up. And it might have been head up too. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I she think uh, I think head can come up now. Oh really? In the USAPL. Yeah, it might have been like heels down. Style. Yeah, heels down, little tweaks. And today we got bench day, and I'm gonna try to do some triceps and get jacked. How heavy are your dumbbells? Oh, pretty heavy. I got 75 on four. Or hundreds. Yeah. Do but I'm an old man now, so I gotta do crazy warm ups where my shit gets fucked. Dude, I actually I don't know when it changed. I'll do like a big general warm up like a salt bike or whatever, and then I feel great. I can kind of hop into shit and I can start to jam. I diet on crazy low calories, and so I don't like to share it with y'all. I've been eating 1,500 calories when I'm really shredding. Right now, I'm more like 2K, but. And we're like, why don't you tell me your calories and macros? And well, one, because y'all ain't me. But two, the genetic difference between the calories we all need is a lot less than you think. It's more dependent on what you do in a day. And I don't do shit. I was just talking about my average steps in a day, if I don't try, is like 2K. If I try, it's 5K. And you guys probably hear the internet gurus tell you to get 10K. And there's no magic number. 10K is just a decent amount of steps. Someone just made that up and it became a rule. There's no magic there, right? So if you're doing more steps now than you used to, if you're used to 1K a day like me, doing three or 5K would be a great goal. So I work on a laptop and I work online. I know I'm a fitness professional, but a lot of my stuff's writing and designing and managing my team and a little bit of lifting. But it's cold in here in Vegas. So I'm getting a little warm. We're gonna go hike the mountains. I'm gonna show you all the beauty of Vegas. You think the strip, you think the casinos, and I did too. We're going on a little team hike, and now I'm trying to get 5K more steps. Today's an off day of training. We lifted yesterday, and we're heading to Vegas or LA tomorrow. I haven't had enough caffeine to think a little bit. So we're gonna go jam. Come along with us. Mia looks like she's ready for more, I'm not. It was uh, three and a half miles uphill. My hammies are made for that. I'm a power athlete, I'm not an endurance athlete. I've never done it, but I know one of those tests, I don't know if it's 23 and me, but one of them hoes tells you like what genetics you're made for, you know? Like, oh, you're made to be a power athlete, or you're made to be a golfer or a engineer or some shit. I need to do that, because I'm for sure made to be a power, although I'm not that strong either. 
but we walked up that mountain mile and a half down about a mile and a half i got a little bit of sniffy this is about 40 degrees out we're gonna go grab food i'll try to show you what i eat little bj's or cheesecake eating healthy on the road i'm definitely sticking to the diet i don't know where my scale is at i don't feel very tight i need to drink a little more water today and then we're heading to la little leg day tomorrow maybe a special guest not sure if we'll film it and these are just staring me in the face mid diet what am i supposed to do with that you know sabotage all right so you're cutting calories how organized are you with it do you go like per meal i gotta get a certain amount of protein or i gotta get a certain amount of calories this meal because that calories or are you a little bit more flexible in that way because in my opinion that's what real flexible dieting is right? so i have a pretty set method um the way that i like to do it is i look at how much weight i need to lose yeah and i ballpark how much of a deficit i need to be in so right now because i am i do have strength goals it's not too drastic of a cut because I'm not losing all my gains. Yeah, so and you're roughly, 10 weeks ish out. Yeah, so it's roughly around 1,700 uh, calories a day. So my first week, I track religiously. Every single thing I put on my mouth, I track. Then I get a good feel of it because now I gotta live life. Yeah. And I have the experience to kind of like intuitively adjust. You gotta deal with this. This. And you got thing. a kid. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I do that, and then I for a week, then I kind of get a, a, a gist of it. Okay, I gotta have this much ground beef a day, or this much turkey, or whatever. And then um, the next week, I do it intuitively, and then as life comes, so if it's like a friend's birthday, yeah. then I'll eat maybe a small slice of cake, but the next day, zero carbs the yeah, whole day. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of how I rock. Yeah. What about, and so today you're pretty locked in, because we just have like a work and travel day. Yeah. Uh, do you try to separate your meals evenly, or you just go by feel? You know, like, so you have 1,700, yeah. and we haven't eaten yet. Yeah. It's what? Noon. Yeah. So we go like 800 calories now and 800 calories later, or you'll just do whatever? I'll do, so I also have to manage the hunger. Yeah. So I'll eat whatever now, then before I get in the car ride, because we're driving to LA. We're gonna get some jerky. Get some jerky, Yeah. put some of that in my mouth, and then I'll know, have a little bit of, yeah, and have a little that bit That be the only thing going in your mouth, especially with Mike in the car. I feel like my life is a tornado, but it's like man-made, and I'm surfing like in a tornado from like Wizard of the Oz or something. So we, we filmed JK. I got a secret guest coming on the vlog, but not today, not this video. I'm wrapping her up. I appreciate you guys, I really do. Sometimes I can't vlog as much as I'd like because one, I'm not good at it. Two, I wanna take you on the journey, but a lot of it's business. And then when it's not business, a lot of it is me balancing how much I'm on my phone or how much I'm on my uh, camera. And I wanna like live in the moment a little bit. You know, I've done this for 12 years now. And so, not directly vlogging, but internet shit and talking to y'all, creating content and bringing the journey. And so it's, it is a longevity thing that I've learned that I can't just be behind this lens the entire time. So hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of spurts with me and the family, man. Barquan and Gio, as you know, are literally my family. Um, Taika and now Mia. Um, super, super lucky and blessed to be a part of that tribe, uh, to be a part of that crew, and to have them as literal family. Um, I got other family in town, uh, so they will be on the vlog. I'm gonna go catch a quick workout, um, but we'll catch you in the next video, man. Be sure to turn on notifications, it'll really help your boy out. We're pushing hard. 3SB.co for all your gear, good company, highest quality, highest quality fitness game apparel. Trust me. If you haven't tried it, you'll try it and you'll know. The word's getting around. Word's getting around that Third Street goes harder with the vibes and community and the culture and good company goes harder with the quality and the fit. So you can, you can join us now or you can be too late and join later, man, but you're gonna join. So appreciate y'all, share this thing out. New videos every Monday and Thursday. It's on the mic. I'm out of here, y'all.